disposal. We have to see how LGD is going to respond here. It's just such a, it is, it is one of his best heroes. It's, it's something he can go a lot of different item builds on it. It's something he's going to have a good lane and he's going to be able to impact the game. It, it could be a good Razor game. You need a hero oh, that kind of can it. survive um, yeah. and shuts down the Kanka as well. So, the, the other thing you talk about against the Kanka is you, you talk about maybe they, oh, Dazzle's out, like, like saves against Kanka are really good. Oracle I like actually against Kanka quite a bit too, because that, it's not just the ulti, but you have the magic immunity. How do you feel about Oracle? To disrupt the call, Oracle has been amazing uh, overall because of the new new mechanic, not new mechanic, the root, how it works. It stops. Yeah, uh, it cancels TP. TP. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's so the, big. Your 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 Q canceling TP yeah. is just so huge for that hero. People like people didn't under, don't understand at the lower levels of Dota how significant TP cancels versus not are. Like the fact that. Uh, when Dazzle's Poison Touch was nerfed, and it removed the mini stun and no longer stopped TP, like that hero disappeared. Lion, what? not a big fan of Lion, but I don't like uh, as much. He he's really good against the TB, just bursting him, controlling him, uh, getting rid of the illusions with the Mana Drain and Hex. Yeah, the other thing is that I mean, these Chinese teams, you go you go all the way back to like MMY, and these Chinese teams are are so good at giving farm priority to their lions, getting him that, getting him those, that early level six and getting him that blink dagger. They, they'll, you know, they'll rotate and they'll give the lion mid. They were one of the first to do that. Do you know where MMI is? What, what is he doing? I have no idea, but he's still one of the best Dota players I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Like, I, that guy, X. people that are new to the game that have never seen him. His, is, his Storm Spirit, his lion on mid. That's the, that's the thing. He was a guy that was one of the elite cores, and then, and then he played support for a while, and he was just... Ridiculous. Yeah. It was like, it was like, you felt like watching that they added extra gold to the game. Because you would just get these items on supports and go, like, what happened? Darks here still in the pool and they already picked Lion, so there's not going to be Oracle if they want to go for it. Yeah. Or just, I think it's the right idea to pick something that shuts down Tide. Something, absolutely. Uh, either Enigma, either that uh, Doom that I mentioned, could go that way. Super effective against Tide. So Doom or Enigma are the two that you're kind of looking for here to shut down Ty, but what else mm. would they bring, Lacoste? Would they bring anything else to the table for Vici? Oh yeah, a lot of uh, team fight potential, and they have a uh, Kanka already. Like, they go yeah, the Dark Seer, that's... Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's still fine, it uh, gives... I mean, it's Earth Spirit plus the Dark Seer, uh, good lane. Also, they have a great potential with the combo with the Kanka. Yeah, and that that's the thing that we're seeing. I think the I feel like the the theme of this draft so far is just overwhelming team fight potential from both VG sides. Uh. And seeing so much. Oh, okay, there's there the jug. Go. With with PA gone, that's the that's the natural sort of robust agi carry. It's not jug into TB is a little bit scary. That that's oh, if yeah, I were we... if I were pointing to something <laughs> on the side of LGD, it's still that. You know, you don't necessarily have that core that deals with the TV. We saw yesterday the game ending uh, anticlimactically, where yeah, TV yeah. just uses <laughs> reflection, kills the, the overfarm right. jug. Uh, he has no buyback. Game ends. Uh, but the juggernaut, a good pickup. Uh, if you don't know what to pick, uh, you have a lot of uh, stuns disabled. Juggernaut is always a good choice, especially wow. against the lane like Earth Spirit and the Dark Seer, which and we deals about... a lot of magical damage. Can deal with the Iron Shell. Yeah, pardon me. We 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 talked about in the last series, uh, Juggernaut. It's not the BKB. It's the spin. Uh, the one of the weaknesses of VG gaming lineup so far is remember Sunder doesn't go through Magic any, immunity anymore. So they really have nothing that yeah. that deals well with BKB or Magic immunity in general. And he builds into into the Fusal Blade. I've I've seen mm -hmm. uh, Juggernauts going for Battle Fury, S and Y into the Fusal, or just straight into Diff. No, I've, I've, I've actually I like I like it really game. against the TB and it gives you so much kill potential. It doesn't uh, the purge anymore, so you can't get rid of the surge. PSG. It was a it was a uh, high level pub game, but yeah. I've I've actually seen in a couple of high level pub games. I've seen TBs. I've seen Jug go attack speed and early defusal, and I've seen TBs have to pop BKB yeah. to have mana left for Sunder. Yes, Th this is an interesting ban. I I didn't think we we're gonna see this hero because it's a uh, like. One of the worst heroes in the game right now. What? Silencer? Silencer? Yeah. I mean... Oh, by the way, you said Pangalera is completely unplayable in a one today. Oh, I yeah. I still want to bring that up with us. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if if it's not Ice Ice Ice. 
Like he he's the master of the hero. He's probably the best Bango player. Yeah, he, he really is. Yeah, he really yeah. is. So they need the Zai's not bad either, They need a mid the matchup. Uh, they could go for a monkey or that razor that I mentioned. They basically have one, two, three melee heroes inside of each gaming monkey. They need something Seems good. Or, okay, there is the timber saw going. So I I I thought we were past the point where we were talking about that. Uh, but it is a counter to the terrible. And that, that's the main thing that you needed in that last pick was some core. I don't think the lion by itself is enough. You needed some core that's going to threaten the terrible. Timbersaw is a good pickup. Uh, he naturally builds into Lotus Orb, hopefully, instead of a Bloodstone. Right. And uh, this item just completely ruins the DB. And the, the amount of the damage uh, coming out from Vici Gaming, it's uh, pretty static until TB gets uh, super big. They have a lot of magical damage uh, as well, so I, I expect Timbersaw to get the like, good Yule Scepter into Lotus Orb, yeah, so he, he's going to be fine. And, and there's, there's, there's the, the uh, they're ball. turning around. I, I like it. Yeah, folks, uh, you can't see like on it. your screen right now, but Vici's Oracle. last pick was Oracle. And ultimately here, we can start to talk about the entirety of the draft and, and what we see. I want to start with the Timber, and then we'll talk about the Oracle. Uh, the, does the timber offer enough in your mind? It's that core that you were looking for to a certain degree, but th is this enough for LGD? Do you like their lineup? I think LGD is the better team, and I would probably pick them here based upon that, but I actually like this Vici draft a lot. I think the, I, I think the team fight coming out of Vici is just scary as hell. and It's not the easiest necessarily lineup to execute, but I think Vici... Why not? I'm going to pick him. Okay, you're going to pick Vici now, and sure. one of the other Five things that was said, though, is remaining. both of these lineups are built for those team fights. So we think that there is one team fight that is superior between these two drafts. Oh yeah, I'll take one with, uh, with the Tidehunter. Um, they have an uh, easy way to cut into backlines, uh, find the Oracle. Oracle mostly wants to focus on uh, saving the TB, because it's going to be a hard TB game, a lot of bursts. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with uh, LGD this time. Okay, LGD and Vici, we, we knew that this was going to be a close one. Our analysts are echoing that on the desk right now. We're ready to jump into the action. We're going to kick it down to the casters and get the last series of the day underway. I remember wise words, don't go against Tusk King. Where, where is... Right. Like, That's what I was going to say. This is... Really? Yeah. Aww. I mean, okay, he's the prince on. of Chinese Dota, man. Like, this guy... Uh, FY Tusk is probably my favorite four position hero support combination to watch at the moment just because yep. you know shaker's falling out of the meta a bit ah, i love timber against kunkka and tb this is one of those games where i feel like both teams have win conditions mm -hmm. and drafts that they're comfortable with and it's going to come down to play and these early rotations in the mid game like we just saw what a terror blade can do yeah so betting against it is never something guaranteed yep. but they got a lot of answers to it like even lion mm -hmm. like with that burst damage he's got multiple multiple controls, multiple ways to actually get rid of the illusions if they yeah. try and start pushing. That was one thing we didn't have in the last series. Uh, like, VP would just send the TB illusion up the hill, and there's no cheap ability like Mana Drain to get rid of it. And, uh, yeah. Now we also have the Juggernaut, though, so I, I kind of want to beg a question, because we have been mm. kind of crapping on this hero quite hard. Yeah. Uh, do you think he actually works better in this draft for LGD well, than we've so seen him earlier today? So my checklist internally for, uh, for Darkseer, uh, when I'm thinking about what makes it a good game, um, obviously you'd love to have an effective laning phase, but you, you want to have a core and a support that you can ion shell mm -hmm. uh, and I'll, you know, just boost their effectiveness, obviously. And what's really important that we have here for Vici, if they have the synergy with the Kanka and the Earth Spirit, but it doesn't seem like people prioritize, is a VAC stun. Like, it's so good. You hit a big vac into a three, four-man stun, you're going to win a team fight. Yep. Like, we've seen a lot of darks here. Have we seen a single big combination? No. But then again, EG didn't draft it. True, but... <laughs> they, they, they drafted uh, ES with their dark seer. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, it used to work because the stone would stun, but, yeah, but doesn't not the work case with, anymore. Yeah, now it's rolling yeah. water as the stun. It's a curious begins. game from Vici. Uh, I think they're going to have major timber saw issues, and how they look to address that is really interesting to me because traditionally you could ignore him, mm -hmm. or perhaps you look to rotate early. You have a ton of magic damage on your supports, Earth Spirit and Oracle, so you certainly can kill him, but in the event maybe um, is able to get out to a good start, 
and he picks up, say, a hood by 10 minutes, I don't know if that's possible anymore. Yeah. So then you look to you look to something else, right? Like, mm -hmm. is, is it your Kunker quick damage before reactive armor charges kick up? And I can't believe, hey, we're looking at this again. <laughs> yep. Iron Shell burning off the creep way before it can arrive at the tower because it doesn't attack back. He's here as a full life looking to dive and while up on top lane. That's why we told you. We told you. True side told you. Do he not is, doubt the Tusk God, the Tusk King. He didn't even use spin. And this is the one downside of this Earth Spirit starting bottom, as we've seen a couple times in the past. It's a tri lane top. Yep. He's not there. You're going to lose this lane. And this is an excellent decision from LGD to go aggro into the Terra Blade. We've already seen how strong Jug is off in offensive tri lanes. But not just that, Oracle Earth Spirit are not heroes that like tri laning at all. Earth Spirit wants to be active on the map, rotating around. That's what he's going to look to do. But you're going to be punished up top for this movement. He's actually doing a really slow walk into the mid lane. Now, Observer Ward is on him, so this could just be for a bit of a vision yep. game. Maybe hoping to actually find the courier, but the courier's taking some time to get out. It's not because Timbersaw's not finding CS. It's kind of already yep. done its trip, so ES is too late for that. Now yep. he'll TP top. Starts his rolling boulder forward, going in after FY. No snowball to actually save him, and well, with the stuns from X Nova, space created, FY is able just to walk it off. Yep. And I really like what LGD did here with that last big timber saw as well. What, what, we, what do we want an Earth Spirit to do is rotate. And this is something teams would do to us because, you know, Z Freak loves roaming, right? And for a while, that's all we gave him. Yep. When you put a mid hero that's ungankable, it limits what this player is now able to do. And you neuter the enemy four position with, with, with no real cost to you, right? Mm -hmm. And now you're in a position where you're just in a try on try and you've got a massive advantage. No matter what, whereas down bottom, yeah, sure, Darkseer's going to get a little more out of this lane, but Chalice is totally fine free farming under tower. It also seems, too, like uh, the power of Fiji Gaming and their tri lane is very heavily based around Metamorphosis. Yeah. And getting this back up, because now Metamorphosis is down, Fade comes down a little bit too far. They try and save him, but that's when you just see him go into the spin. Rolling ball, the snowball forward. Rolling ball cannot get off. And that's now two kills for LGD. Now the upside is once again it's going to be this Darks here, 26 CS already. But if if he can't help out in this top lane, like Fy continues the run. He's already got level two, so there's the escape mechanism in the snowball. But yeah, he'll be fine. This... But yeah, Darks is going to get a lot of farm. So how does he now itemize? We saw S4 earlier before. How do you itemize the Darks here to get involved in this to hit the timing for Vici's team fight? This this is an interesting one. Um. He's probably the Vlad's buyer, but he's also the Greaves buyer. I don't think you want a Crimson in this game. It's kind of up to him. Uh, I would say you just go mass auras. I think that he's also the guy that would buy the Medallion Solar Crest too. So I would just like to see him get items that enable Vici to do Roche effectively. Because if he doesn't provide the minus plus ar or minus armor plus damage, they're really yeah. not able to do Roche until TB has two or three items. And they're not going to get it from TB. Like, TB has just reached a point where he's gone into his own jungle to yep. farm up. And FY and X Nova, they're coming over to try and contest it. So Paparazzi has been babysat by Fade, while Juggernaut's free farming up on the top lane. You go Tide Hunter doing his own pull. Darkseid mm -hmm. is doing the same. So this is, a, this is a pretty much a scrub lane on the bottom. And then mid lane, is Timpasaur gaining levels against the Conquest? So it's almost like everyone's happy to accept what's happening yeah. because LGD are winning two and a half lanes at the moment. Yeah, I, it certainly favors LGD. Uh, you're in a position where your carry can free farm with no real expenditure in the sense that it doesn't require three heroes to stay top. FY is free to just follow Terrorblade around. He actually kicks him out of one jungle, <laughs> sends him to the other, and now me. look. All right, Tipper Chain's on the way through, but they snowball hold them together, and even with the Earth Spirit, he tries to rolling boulder through. Yeah. But Kunker is already dead. Three kills for LGD. Snowball. Fantastic counter to that X marks the spot. Indeed, and I love the play from FY. He knows what he's doing. He's going to go right for these runes. Look to control both bounties. And then I imagine he just runs straight for the terrible. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, lay! Oh, I love it, FY. I absolutely adore it. <laughs> All he had to do was do the one, two, do -si do and that rune is gone. X Nova will grab the top. 
And uh, how many did they actually get out of that? So they actually claimed all four bounty runes yep. for LGD. I, I Bear in mind, the LGD draft is the one that could just snowball out of control. Yeah, Terrorblade can do a ton of damage, but there's a 3k advantage in the favor of PSG LGD already. <laughs> and bear in mind, they have the timber and the tide. These heroes are going to get to a point. How are they going to die? Where is the actual sustained damage from Vici Gaming? You've got a ton of spell combinations, but you actually have no method of sustaining DPS throughout a long, drawn-out engagement. TP support's coming over. FY, it may have to hide inside the snow. Snowball doesn't want to do it. Now back up and try and X Nova and FY. This support combination always sticking together. And the cores just sit in the lanes. They yep. never go anywhere else. Like this is almost, I, I don't want to say as LGD International kind of style, but it's always what I think of when what? I think of this. Yeah, None I'm, of our viewers know what that even is. Were they even born when LGD Int was a thing? Stop making me feel Misery old. had a hair when he played for that. Stop team. making it's been me years. feel old. I'm I'm not Nahar's level yet. I'm not the silver. Fuck. Actually, we're actually quite a close age. He just looks older. I we love you, Nahar. Actually, I think you're closer to him than me. Just saying. I'm I am closer to Nahar's than you. Yeah, luckily, my youthful exuberance is infectious. <laughs> yep. Yeah, three cores from LGD, all top net worth at the moment. There's, Paparazzi. They're smoke ganking too. They want to keep the momentum going. Yeah, this is the right move. To keep applying the pressure. You've had an Oracle sitting at this top tower, but he's very easily diveable, and you still have that catapult. Yep, here's your snowball forward. Lion actually didn't come with him, however, but it won't matter when you shard block in the Oracle. All the damage yep. in the world. There's no need to have magical or fit like one or the other. They just have both. Conquer creates more space, but I've seen so many times Ori burning abilities against yep. this Timbersaw and, and oh having my. zero effect. I, I've had a lot of conversations back at the hotel with players about the optimal Timber build. I think this is it. Double Bracer, Soul Ring, not into Hood, but Holy Locket. It gives you nearly the same amount of magic resist. You don't get the spell shield, but you get bonus health regen as a timber saw. Percent based health regen at that. It is one of the new items that we really just never see on anybody, but it's perfect for timber. It also helps you accelerate a little bit too. You get that just a touch of, um, of magic regeneration, and that's just, it's like a mini bloodstone almost. Not, well, that, yeah, bad analogy, but you get it. <laughs> It's useful. Let's, yes. just, let's just say that. Uh, confidence from the Darks here. He does it the Vanguard, but underneath a fresh ready to Omni slash Juggernaut. He only needs a little bit of help, and the Lion is going to offer that. Yang goes into it. There's your Omni slash. FY's got the control with the quick snowball and Shard's block into spin. Yang is brought down as the biggest net worth hero on VG by a long way. A thousand net worth difference between the Darkseer and the Terrorblade. My God, but he's still a thousand behind five, that, the Juggernaut. Dude, they're, they're 5k ahead. Yeah, they are. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't want to <laughs> say this game's over, but if you're Vici Gaming, you need some miracles, and you need LGD to make mistakes. Bottom lane, Tidehunter, 8 minutes in, 1600 HP, and a Vlad's. Mid lane, Timbersaw, nearly 1500 HP. Hey, this this is the lineup that's stuck together after, you, after the TI Grand Finals. They are still... A TI Grand Final full oh, team. Dude, you went Vanguard on, on Yang. That I don't think going defensive items is the play here on the side of Vici because you have major damage he issues. Maybe just want to complete the full Crimson Guard. Try and negate some of the damage. Negate what? The t what I don't, damage? I don't know. The Juggernaut physical attack, that's all. You got Timbersaw problems, you got Tide problems, and you got a... The Prince of Darkness himself on this Tusk, who so far has been a part of every single kill and just is really dominating the map. Well, he's just gone from being king to being the evil king. Like, what are we, Warlord kind of be, style? It's the the Prince be. of Darkness? Yeah. That sounds very evil. I don't think so. When have you ever said, hey, you know what? Actually, Darkness, that's the good side. I mean, the Empire did nothing wrong. But that's a discussion for <laughs> another time. Are, what are you, Bonnie Stinson? Next thing you tell me in the Karate Kid, you didn't know who the who the bad guy was. There's certain villains that are definitely misunderstood, but again, not the right time for this discussion, Toby. Yeah, I'm we sorry. have a very close, action-packed game on our hands. Y yeah, yeah. There's there's only dark matter separating these two teams. 
Yeah. <laughs> Into the mid, they're going once again over to the Terra Blade. They're waiting for it. Here goes your combination, but it's all going to miss. The Snowball save is too easy. They just come back out of it. But that's why Terra Blade, as Sunder, swaps the life with FY. And they're keeping the Timber Saw away. But while this is happening, you've still got Chalice on bottom lane. You've still got the Juggernaut up on top. They're having three times taking towers, farming lanes, having no issues, while the Timber Saw chases down Paparazzi yeah. and Oracle. I, LG is playing a flawless game, and Vici yeah. looks lost. And I don't blame them, because truthfully, I don't know what you do to get back into this game. Top lane. You can't kill Juggernaut. You have no method of canceling spin TP. So Ame can just plant himself in the enemy jungle. Look at the wards he has. Yep. Remember when they killed Darkseer? They also gave him these incredible wards that give him total vision. And he recognizes, look, I have no fear. Timbersaws just planted himself mid. Tidehunter was bottom. None of these heroes will die. Ichi, what do you do? One observable ward in both sides of the camp. Like, yeah, we've seen teams already today, like, they commit, like, two wards into just one jungle. It's like, we will have vision superiority. LGD, all they need to know is someone's there. And oh, then they'll this. go for it, because that's what you're singing right now. Timbersaw, chase down Paparazzi. He won't go into the base, but that's not required. Kill the creep waves. Keep the bush coming, and VG Gaming, they know they have to do something about it. A four-man smoke up, but they're going to fight without the Terra Blade. Radiant are already scanning, yeah. feeling something's coming, and they're going to walk Got into em. it as well. LGD, you said flawless. They know what VG's going to do, but do before VG does it. Is this the target you want? It really isn't. It's the Timber Saw. You keep the silence on him. Oh the Mark will fly over God. the top. But now with the spin, the damage, you can turn on the Magnetize. FY's copped a lot of damage. Maybe with the heal, they back it back in again. So it will be the Tusker to finally fall. Timber Saw, he's trying to live through this. Doesn't have enough reactive armor charges to live. But now the Omni Slash. It's the cleanup time. It's a two for two trade off. Bottom lane. Tidehunter's level 12. Paparazzi, you're in trouble, my Wait, friend. He's what got a. The hell? Ooh. The level disparity! I mean, that was great for Vici, but if you check out that fight recap, yeah, it's a victory, but they got 600 gold, LGD got 400, and Ame... I mean, I love the build. This is exactly what I was bringing up in the previous series. Ame goes for the Yasha first. Rushing Battle Fury is cool, but it doesn't really... You don't feel the impact of an overfarm jug. When you just get this casual Yasha, you feel a lot more confident in taking engagements in the course mm -hmm. of flash farming, and then you go back for the Babel Fury, but it just it's a oh, way to accelerate a lot more block. linearly. Ori's gonna get out in the top, but it will not be the same for Paparazzi. The Shard Block from FY was absolutely perfect. Even with a defensive Dire Observer would in fact, two of them, they did not see the movement up from LGD. Paparazzi has nowhere Dude, safe to farm, can... and they just keep going. Look at the Tide Hunter is 2100 health. <laughs> He's level 12. I don't. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know what the play is, and I love this. Look, Ame's not gonna <laughs> leave top. He's just chilling. He's farming, and at some point, yeah, they'll chase him away. You'll have three heroes show up, but he can always just spin TP and rejoin his team, who are by the way clearing a tier two uncontested. Sure. 10k gold lead once this tower drops. My god, 13 minutes, 52 seconds in. They are putting on a clinic right now. How to utterly dominate your opponents. Man, if if this is just like a complete 2-0 wipe, the only upside will be the fact that Virtus Pro is playing Fantastic Dota, and that's the opponent, the winner of this series. LGD yeah. will put on a show tomorrow when these teams play. But... They still have to get there. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. It is a 14 minute Battle Fury after the Yasha on the Juggernaut. Yes, Tidehunter is rather explosive. And they're going to work with the Timbersaw. Chained down, but they've got no easy control on Yang. So yeah. we can just search away. And Dyer's already scanning looking towards Roshan. E-Home e beat Fnatic in that earlier series, right? Uh, th that is correct. They beat him 2-1. Oh, no, crazy stat. If LGD wins this, that means all four of the teams in the upper bracket remaining will have been from just two groups. Secret and LGD were in the same group. Yep. VP E-Home were in the same group. A real shame to those other teams that unfortunately were matched up against two top six teams. You're looking towards Pango. We're looking towards ZY being in trouble. And the whole thing goodbye in to your Oracle. It was all the battle for those 15 minute bounty runes. LG just picking up what they can, but. 
Everyone's getting space. Even X Nova yeah. is now given space to try and catch up on his levels and his items on bottom lane. That's where VG Gaming start moving a couple of players down, but because the Observer Wards are there from the Radiant side, Paparazzi feels like he may have a fight, but Paparazzi, I hate to tell you, you're probably dead. Snowball forward, it's a double stun from the Earth Spike, the follow-up into the Omni side. Paparazzi comes all the initial hits. Yang will live a little bit longer, but then a kick from Fate. There's a buy space, not with the Ravage. Oh, okay, just false promise up. At least Oracle has his level six, but there's no other save available. They all get magnetized, but Timbersaw, he's on the chase, looking for the kill over on the Darkseer. It's only one point up in whirling death so his burst damage isn't that impressive but vg gaming just have no answer to this 11 to 2 on the board they have more net worth k advantage 13k versus the 11 kills of lgd they're beating I, themselves I mean, right now i've seen a few games where the net worth disparity is a bit larger number than the game time but i've never seen one this close this early this is crazy but Every, the They're three cores are farmed like it's 25 minutes in. TP's coming into the front lines. Kunk has got his armlet. He wants some level of engagement. They're looking towards the Timbersaw. The boat will connect. But all this damage, it seems to count for naught. The Darkseer will finally be fingered down. We're going to have Lion having more damage than the core just because of the plus 50 plus 50. And Parasi burns Metamorphosis as well to try and get involved in this fight. And it won't happen. This is a free ticket to go Roshan. No metamorphosis for the fight. Conker is in no condition to engage. His ship's down for 30 seconds. Can we, can we check out the win probability? I'm it's, curious. I'd say 98. Oh my goodness. That, yep, it's 98. <laughs> it's 98 percent. Yeah, this, I, I'd love to theorycraft a way for Vici to get back into this, but I yeah, mean, what is that two percent? If I'm if I'm if I'm ROTK right now, I'm just happy my team's on the board because this could have very easily been. Why? He just walks out. up to like Earth Spirit once again. The Oracle will sacrifice. Well, they'll sacrifice each other. Uh, Faze just standing there. He's not even moving. He understands death is nigh. And they're coming up. LGD don't need Roshan. They don't even need Ravage. They're taking this without Ravage. They're gonna blink dagger over on the Tidehunter. He's ready to jump in at a moment's notice. Lion will actually he's looking to force the top lane. But they'll just take mid-rax. 18 minutes in. Dark tier. We'll get the back wall off, but you know, I dare say this is just gonna be some clearance that uh, LGD has no issue doing. The uh, only thing I can do in this game is break down all the things that PSG LGD is doing right, and there's a lot. I mean look at the vision they have around the base. Look at the way they're splitting. They are they're kind of standing together to, for Torrent, so it looks like the care factor of LGD is starting to drop. The Ravage is already back off cooldown. They have a level 2 Omni Slash. Smoke up from FY and Arme. X Nova as well. It's like they're waiting for someone to TP out, and Paparazzi isn't coming back. He's fighting and pushing the bottom lane to the tier 2 tower, while the fact. Chalice, he is kind of a little bit stranded. He needs some space to be created. Timbersaw is here, and Chalice, still holding the Ravage, does not want to burn it. And probably the wise decision. They already took mid racks. They just have to sacrifice the Tide Hunter for it. Yeah, I like the play. Uh, much better to just ditch your Tide there. You know this game is effectively in the bag. You have a Rax. Your next move is respawn. Like, if he burns Ravage there, they know it's going to take a couple extra minutes to close this game out now. Yep. Respawn, walk to Roshan. Vici will probably work to fight them, because otherwise you're effectively just conceding, and they'll yeah. lose that fight, and that'll probably be it. My Look how God. far this Jug is. He just picked up the... the he's going to have his butterfly by 22 minutes this straight. Yeah, it's crazy how much better a hero Jug looks when you get involved in the action. And you're gonna have uh, double, uh, you'll have triple blink daggers uh, on LGD, both the supports and Tidehunter. Man. Sure. And a Heaven Talbot. I feel like I'm being dishonest by being excited. Tide's in trouble. Supports coming over from the, from the Timber Store. Tidehunter, there goes your Ravage. He'll catch out in five. Everybody just, just straight through him with maybe. 
They've already got the kill on the Oracle. FY in the back lines as well as looking at killing off the Oracle, taking away his save. The Magnetize, it's at least doing something good for the Earth Spirit. It probably has more damage than his entire team combined. Another finger yeah. of death kill, combining with the Oni yeah. Slash. GG is called, and rightly so. This game is so over. They, uh, they did everything right. You know, it starts with the nullification of the Earth Spirit. So you force an aggro trilane into a terror blade, knowing you have a massive advantage just because of the way the Jug vs. TB relationship functions. You know now that the Earth Spirit can't roam middle because you planted a terror blade, or sorry, a timber saw there. Mm -hmm. And bottom lane is a tide hunter. What what is Fade supposed to do? The guy's got a great Earth Spirit, but <laughs> yeah, it hilariously enough.